Hello everyone and greetings from Person Tylers. My name is Mayank and I'm happily presenting for you the 27th video of 100 LRDI challenge for CAT 2020. The name of the set is Lock Unlock. Let us have a quick read of this paragraph. I will say apart from everything that you will take care, a lot of people while solving the questions do miss this point let us not forget this that in the end we have to remember that the number of six levers lock the number of six lever locks has to be less than the number of eight lever locks and then there is this table i hope you have understood the question now let us do our little something before we face the questions so i have prepared another table which will uh, help us manage the data a little better okay so let us see what we can do on our own without looking at the questions so day one you see there are five locks l1 l7 l8 l4 and l11 you can see that l1 has been used later see over here which means that l1 is not the lock which was opened on day one otherwise it would not have been selected on the other day similarly l7 also has been used later this also cannot be the one l8 also cannot be the one it has been used again later and l11 also cannot be the one it all it also has been used later a couple of times hence it has to be lock l4 and how many levers are there in l4 there are eight levers fair enough similarly let us see day 2 l3 is present later l15 is present later l14 i can also see on day 8 l12 i can't see and l8 also i can see later so similarly on day 2 we know which lock was opened and l12 belongs to the 10 lever lock so there are 10 levers in lock l12 now day 3 l2 is present l7 i can't see okay but l15 i can see l9 i can see and l10 also i can see hence day 3 also we are sure which lock was opened l7 and l7 belongs to the six liver group now day four l15 is present the next day itself l13 is also present on day seven l10 is present on the last day l3 i don't think but l6 also is present on some other day. so day 4 lock l3 must have been opened and l3 belongs to the 10 lever group now day 15 l2 i can see l15 l15 not really l9 also i cannot see later yes l10 can be seen later and l5 also can be seen later so here the first ambiguity comes it is l15 or l9 now l15 belongs to the eight liver group and l9 belongs to the six liver group so in the same order all right on day six we have l13 which is present the next day itself l6 which is present the last day l1 i cannot see later yeah and l8 also is present l10 is also present okay so day six also we are sure that it was lock l1 and l1 belongs to the eight liver group now day seven l14 is present the next day l11 is present the next day but none of the other l8 2 and 13 are present the next day so there here we have an ambiguity among three l8 l2 and l13 and respectively their number of livers are 10 or 6 or 8 and the remaining so i should write l5 l6 l10 l14 and l11 there are five possibilities for day 8 and respectively their number of hours i am writing here in that order 10 6 10 6 10 okay so this table might help us for the questions so let us start facing the question the first one for how many days is it possible to uniquely determine which lock is unlocked by the vein so i think we have the answer one two three four five days third option is the answer to the question second if he wants the aggregate number of levers of all the locks to be minimum then the number of levers of the lock unlocked on day seven is now day seven there were three possibilities now it very easily very it's very tempting to say that uh, six liver lock has to be unlocked on day seven but maybe we are forgetting one point remember i had underlined something that six liver and eight liver locks the number of six liver locks should be less now just imagine there are confirmed two eight liver locks and plus 
there is a possibility that you can choose eight level lock on day five and on or on day seven now day five you will definitely choose it okay and there is a confirmed one six lever lock and there are two more chances now if you write two here as in you chose six lever lock on day seven and day eight in that case you will have to just choose one more eight lever lock that is on day five but that will make it equal we don't want it equal hence there is only one possibility that out of the three days where confusions are there you can give only one to six lever lock and two to eight lever lock so six lever lock if you want to make four days on which eight lever locks were used so those four days have to be day one day five day six and it has to be day seven only because eight liver locks are not available on day eight and we were asked about day seven only i think we have a clearer answer now it is second option okay moving on okay third one at the end of day eight he finds that the aggregate number of livers is more than 64 but not more than 68 first of all we know that the total number of livers when added will only make an even number because you can clearly see that there is no odd number of livers present in any of the locks it has to be either 66 or 68 now let us first add the confirmed numbers which are on day one two three four and six so if you add them number of levers for the days for which the locks are confirmed we find that number to be 42 and then we have three more days available for which the number of levers or the lock numbers are not certain so we have to see the cases formed so as we have already discussed either we can make the sum 66 or 68 to make the sum 66 we need to add 24 to it now 24 can be 10 plus 8 plus 6 okay let me first just talk about only the number of livers 10 plus 8 plus 6 it cannot be 10 plus 6 plus 8 so we have to now place 8 at the first place 8 plus 10 plus 6 or 8 plus 6 plus 10 both are possible and we cannot place 6 on the uh, in the first slot okay so these are the number of livers on day 5 day 7 and day 8 so this is how we could make the sum as 66 now there is one possibility to make the sum of 68 for that we need to add 26 it's either 10 plus 10 plus 6 or 10 plus 6 plus 10 or 8 plus 8 plus 10 there are many ways you can see so i think this much is enough we don't need to go any further you see that the lock numbers are never repeated on any other day okay so as we can see in none of the columns there is a fixed number so how can we say there is a fixed lock so actually nothing can be determined for this there is no point wasting more energy and time on this question if you can see we could have answered this question if we saw that no matter what there is one column in which the number of livers is not changing then we would have been able to zero in on one particular lock number but we are unable to get that hence the answer to this question is unfortunately cannot be determined fourth question the premise is same but this time they give extra information that l9 is not unlocked if l9 is not unlocked which means l15 was unlocked on day 5 and l8 is unlocked that means 13 and 2 were not then which of the following can be a lock that is unlocked by him okay so basically we have to find the number of livers so if we add all the numbers we had already added 42 for these five now we have to add this also which makes it 50 and this makes 60 so 60 plus day 8 has to make either 66 or it can make directly 70 but 70 is not allowed as you can see on day 8 it's either 6 or 10 livers if you add 6 it makes 66 if you add 10 that is not desired so any one of the six liver locks can be opened which is either l6 or l14 among the given options l14 is present now there are some people who would say that uh, how do you know that it has to be l14 and not l6 why not the answer to this question is cannot be determined and that all is because in the question it's written 
can be which makes a huge difference had it been which will be then the answer would have been definitely cannot be determined i hope you could get the point and moving on to the last question the premise is again the same 10 liver locks 8 liver locks the number of 10 liver locks has to be less than the number of 8 liver locks so we definitely have one two confirmed 8 liver locks so i would write two plus something we will see what can be added and 10 liver locks also have been confirmed to be 2. Okay, now we have to add a bigger number on the right hand side. And uh, we have just 3 places remaining. This one, this one, this one. All the 3 places, 10 is available. But 8 is available only at 2 places. So there is I think only one thing that I can do that add a single 10 but two eights the two eights can only be done on day five and day seven and we have been asked about day seven so day seven which lock has to be unlocked that is l13 because it's an eight liver lock so this would be the solution to the entire set so yet another set in which there is a lot of ambiguity uh, a lot of cases still we managed to make a table and again you saw that how important is to express the data very very clearly maybe in a table format etc okay so that would be all from my side for this set so thanks so much for watching keep supporting us keep giving us your love and please do subscribe to our channel if you really love us and to do that all you have to do is click on the link which is showing right in the center of your screen so this is Mangrath Singh signing off Thank you so much for watching.